Fat Foy Maxpedition versus UTG. Alright. So, firstly, guys, Fat Foy is definitely a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, although I'm fine with it because uh, it's loaded out to what I want basically for now, and I can do some tweaking. Uh, and obviously, I'm focusing on this. The UTG has become my secondary, of course. Like again, I'm trying to double up on everything. You know, get some stuff in here. I mean, this has got tissues and a poncho. This is, again, this is, I threw a knife in here. It's got the cell phone thing on there. I got another one coming for this, but I don't know where I'm going to put it there, I believe. Uh, what else we got in here? Gloves. Miniature medical kit. In here, tweezers. Glow sticks. Again, this is just set up as a secondary. I do like the size of this thing. The top here has got the extra pocket in the top. I've got a headlamp and a mag light. Uh, again, this thing's nice, but it's big. And it will get heavy quick. That's for sure. Uh, what we got in here? Another knife, batteries, lots of batteries, some uh, medication, Sudafed, things like that. Okay, fat boy. I'm not sure if I've got an old version or what here, but there is no strap across the top for picking it up. So what I've done is I've taken the Seal Pup Elite and I've just put this on across the top. This acts as my handle right now. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what I'm doing with it for now. Um, I found that the pistol pack pouch in the back, you really don't need the holster for it because whatever gun you're going to put in there is going to be in there so firm that you're going to have a harder time getting it out. Uh, but I did put a Velcroed battery deal in here. And I'll show you if you can see that. I got a shotgun like shell battery thing there. So it's got, I got two of everything. I got two AAA, two AA, two C, uh, CR2s, and two 123s, CRs. This is a Condor. Um, yeah, let me lift this up touch. Condor magazine. Boom. Nice. Fits the XD mags. Nice. On the sod, the extra pouch up front. I got another pistol mag there. Um, over here, I threw the sog with some tech, some uh, tech ties, whatever the Maxpedition is. I threw my little delt gun here, so it's on the outside. And here, I got the Sparky and my radio, emergency wind-up radio. Okay, I put these on all of them. Wherever you see a tan paracord, that's me. Uh, up here, I just threw a quick carabiner on this side. I've got that cobalt tactical flashlight. So far, this thing's working out pretty good. I got a uh, no, regular pen and I got a space pen here, miniature space pen. This light just fits in there without actuating. Uh, Nice little the Miss Mag pouch here. I got a cop size, police size uh, pepper spray. I've had this for a while, and in here and underneath I got the my my whistle. So I like to keep it like this. The lanyard hanging out like that. So if I need to, I can just pull it out. So the lanyard hanging out, so I can grab it and just pull the whistle out if I need that. I can adjust this a little more. Uh, up top, we've got some Verdant C. Yeah, let's open it. More Verdant C and some duct tape wrapped around a credit card. Pretty basic. And you see, I just have the sod right there. Front pocket. Military, Spyderco, love it. And then I tossed a lanyard on a Leatherman Juice S2. And I 
tossed in a condom. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Good times. And here we've got these old, I got these old primitive, they're literally called primitive wilderness medical aid in the wilderness and survival in the wilderness. These were published in, uh, uh, let's see here. 1969 on this one <laughs> and this medical aid one was published in 71. I fear a little bit with this because there might be some things in here that you don't do now like stuff with tourniquets and things but I'm going to do a little review on these. Again my father gave them to me. They're from uh, Life Support Technology Incorporated in Beaverton, Oregon. Pretty cool. Uh, what else I got in here? I got nothing in that pocket. There's another little sleeve in here which I love. And in there I got some toothpaste, a little micro toothpaste, a mini light stick. What else we got in here? I've got matches, seal, got some earplugs in there that I can see. I'm not going to pull everything else out. I also got tossed in this Winchester face paint, I mean Remington. The neat thing is it's got a mirror so that could help aid with signaling. But just some face paint, cheap Walmart closeout deal. Hey, back in there. Now for the internal. The internal pocket I don't fit as much in, unfortunately. I am I am liking these drawstrings. This is a neat idea. This it kind of helps you pack the stuff in. But I do have gloves. Five hour energy. It's been partially drank. This is my problem here. My my first aid kit is huge. 550 cord, gel. I got light stick, some fire gel, and another Ziploc. And I got a monocular in here. Just a little Brookstone miniature monocular. Pretty cool. Uh, what else we got in here? Another glow stick. In the back. Hand warmers, some more emergencies. Okay, so the real problem I'm having is, is for what I have in my medical kit, it's too big. This is a Voodoo Tactical uh, Molly one, right there. I can do away with some stuff. I mean, I got some decent stuff in here. Some twine, ace bandage, gloves, nail clippers. Plastic tweezers. I actually got a fishing kit in here too. Bunch of band aids under there. Big giant gauze. Emergency blanket. Some more hand warmers. Uh, for again, for what this is, I just think it's too big. This is like a seven by five by three. I'd say. I need, I think, a six by four. So I can save an inch each way, and that will totally free up the internal compartment here, because this thing is just its too loaded up on the internal compartment. It's like the big, the, 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 the compartment you get it for, I'm loading up with this whole medical kit, so it's kind of bumming me out a little bit. So, I'm putting it upside down so Molly doesn't catch. But, I can fit everything in here pretty good. And she's stuffed to the gills and ready to go. Again, if I can free up those couple extra inches in here, then it won't be such a pain in the ass getting at all this stuff. And I could potentially carry some other gear. So, I am liking it. I definitely like this guy. And again, I got such a great deal on it that I really can't complain. So, again, and this, this is what bugs me too. It's, it's a real tight clip here. So, that bugs me a little bit. I don't want to stress this thing out to the max. So I don't want to put them in after that. Put these gloves in a different spot. Just leave them out. There you go. Boom. So I'm liking it so far. I wish it had... I wish it had actually a uh, molly up here. And this is kind of too small. This pouch for a lot of phones, cell phones. It's interesting. But... There you go. So again, I put lanyards on everything. The only lanyard that came on this thing was on the back zip. But no big deal. 
again still like this UTG but what these things cost this is a hell of a deal and it's huge again I'm not sure they make one I mean I'm sure they do but I'd like to have something in between these two but this this weight wise is coming in let's, see, let's weigh this puppy out here loaded with what you saw eight pounds three ounces Okay, this thing with barely nothing in it. Problem here is uh, it's coming in at 5.7 at 5 pounds 7 ounces, and I don't even have anything in it. So that's why you need the in-between size, I think. But again, I don't want to be hauling much more than eight pounds. So there you go. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put the uh, this one of these right there, and I'm going to put the camera there butts or whatever. I mean the knife's kind of an overkill thing but again it works. And again there's nowhere to put it on Molly except for right there. And I don't want to put it there. So there you go. Alright. Loving the fat boy.